suit. God, I look so pretty oh, today. Look at us. Are you kidding me? What is it like looking this good? Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of traveling strippers so we are off to sydney for the next two weeks and we are going to two different clubs in sydney hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> um we do have some concerns just with coronavirus because at the moment um there has been updated hotspots and such there like just four around active cases, yeah there's only four and there's only one hotspot but australia um is it, it, on it yeah if anyone's watching from overseas australia is very very on top of coronavirus um and, and lockdowns. lockdowns shutting borders quarantines all that stuff which is really good we're really grateful for it obviously but it's a different state so Sydney, yeah. New South Wales, we're in queensland yeah. so we do have to fly over the border and if yeah. things do get closed um we run the risk of either being trapped there and having to stay longer and then when we want to return we have to quarantine yeah. in a hotel for two yeah. weeks at, at our own expense yeah it's like our own expense grand. it's very so expensive. we really love to uh, avoid that it's like always at least 24 hours notice so yeah. Worst case scenario, we're told that we go into lockdown. We get the first flight out of there, mm -hmm. um, but we're just hoping that we yep. can get as much work done as possible. Yeah. So the place we're going to first, and it'll be this vlog hopefully, is Sefton Playhouse. It is in Sefton. It's a West Sydney suburb, so it's like about 30 or 40 minutes outside of Sydney. There is no cases there. There is no hotspots. There is no restrictions. There's no masks required. So we're at least hoping to at least get a week out of Sefton Playhouse. We're doing Monday through yeah. Saturday. Monday through Saturday, and they are day doing... Day shifts and yeah, night shifts. Yeah, we're very excited we're for excited this for club. Um, communication with this club has been really good. They're very onto it. They're very professional. They but seem friendly. They very seem really lovely. Onto it. So we, I'm like very, very excited for this. Our flight is at 5.40. It's currently 4.25. So we are going to leave for the it's airport very soon. about an hour soon. and a half flight. When we get to Sydney, we will maybe have a little chat about Sefton tomorrow and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, fingers crossed, nothing goes south for coronavirus. Fingers Hopefully crossed. we can get back into the state. But yeah, we will see you guys at the airport. hungry and I'm nervous. <laughs> I haven't eaten, I have to pee, I need to blow my nose, my legs hurt, everything hurts. And we, we can't. to go up all these stairs. We didn't have a booking, it was like cancelled, we had to rebook even though I thought we'd paid. We can't get in. Back and be assertive yet polite. See you soon. Assertive yet polite is not in your vocabulary. <laughs> we got in um, after Rosie just forced the door open. I think we'll be fine. Um, if, if, if it is, it was not fine. Me looking like a Jesus disciple. We do have towels. We have one toilet, toilet paper roll, but we're here for five days. That's great. We do have a shower, which I am not going to fit into because I'm, <laughs> I'm tall. <laughs> look, look, look at my. Okay, so Bobby is taller than me. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, thank God that thing moves. Yeah, it's really annoying. Okay, so we're going to go downstairs because there's a restaurant connected. So we're going to just go see what it's like. We got that burger, we got that chips. That's the North we got that burger, we got that chips. We got that burger, we got that chips. We got that burger, we got that chips. We got that something. Pasta with mushroom. Um, okay, Queen, and we got that below deck. Well. Yeah, yeah. The time is 10.30. We had dinner and it was actually delicious. It actually just popped off. The <laughs> chips were delicious. It was so crispy and so well seasoned. The pasta was so flavorful and the burger was good. Yeah, it was really good. It was good. really good. But yeah, we are going to go to sleep oh. now. What are you doing? My whole sweet face just fell out. Oh, nice. It was open. Myself. It's how it's how it's going so far. It's how the trip's going. Very cold. We have the heater on, and we're gonna get some Zeds. Good night. Good morning, everyone. It is currently Monday, the twenty-first of June. So tonight is our first night at Sefton, but. Before we get to that, this place has no kitchen, no real like actual facilities. No microwave, literally nothing. Yeah, so we have to go to the shops now and get like stuff that we don't need to cook really or like so like do stuff hummus with. and veggies and rice crackers and just like snack food. Which There's a kettle, sucks. so we can have noodles. But that's kind of it, you yeah. know. Honestly, so I don't really know what we're gonna do. Ugh, I'm just like frustrated because. Obviously, we wanted to like make our own meals and stuff, but it's gonna be a little bit difficult. That's fine. Um, so we're gonna go to the shops now. Um, so we're gonna go pick out some food, and then we'll tell you guys what we got. Hey, 
Checked into our hotel part two. Where did I just put my salad? <laughs> How it's do on, I? It's on the table. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we have checked into the mantra, which is like lovely. It's all that we need. Thank We've God. got a little mini lounge room, a nice big bed. We did some grocery shopping. I'm just having a salad, and that's today's adventure so far. <laughs> it's like 4 p.m. and we have to be at the club I'm at very 7. Stressed. And I have to wash my hair and dry my hair and style my hair. We've been through a lot today. I'm very restless and I'm very stressed. I'm like nauseous because this is the first time we've both eaten and it's 4 p.m. on Monday. Haven't eaten today at all. So don't feel very well. We're both just trying to like scoff down some food. Yeah, I don't feel well at all. And we do have day shift tomorrow. So we start at 1 tomorrow. And I'm just like really not feeling it at the moment. But like hopefully tonight's good. So we'll be a bit happier. There are no hotels around the club. So we had to travel. And the Uber is like, yeah, I mean, we should probably buy shares in Uber at this point. <laughs> but I mean, we'll check in with you when we're getting ready. Bye. Hello guys, we are back. It is night one, Monday. 10 to six. 10 to six. We we're in our beautiful new hotel. Hey, thank you, Mantra. Shout out to the Mantra. Thank God. We've just gotten ready. We're having some berries, some bloobs, and some straws. Um, we're gonna have some food in a second, but I thought we would check in and have a chat about tonight. <laughs> yeah, so Sefton Playhouse has a really interesting thing where the shifts are only four hours long, so. And they're like staggered starts throughout the night. So girls are coming and going, coming and going the whole night as opposed Zah, to us. everyone getting here at like seven and everyone leaving at three. I'm sure it yeah. like benefits the dancers. Yeah, so it's I, not. I think it'll be okay. And like four hours is the minimum. I think I've been told that you can stay later if you so feel the need. Um, we would like to do that because we yeah. are not one to be like, oh yeah, I'm tired. I'm going to leave this club yeah. full of people, yeah. this club full of money and go get some Zeds. The club shops at one on Monday. So we probably will just stay till one if yeah. there's like people around. We'll I just like see how be. it goes. Um, so we're going to do that. I'm feeling pretty excited. I've heard really good things about Sefton. I'm really looking forward to it. The girls seem really nice. The management seems really like really professional, lovely. really friendly. And apparently it's like the biggest strip club in Australia. So, and we've been to some pretty big strip clubs. So yeah. I'm very excited to see how that goes. So for Monday, which is the 21st of June, which is today, what was our goal? So because we've never been there and we yeah. want to be as conservative as possible, mm -hmm. we don't want to like... Yeah. It's a Monday. I've, I have not worked a Monday in like literally years. Yep. Um, and it is such a short shift. So we're being very conservative. Mm -hmm. um, these are sort of like minimum targets we really want to hit. Yep. So minimum target is $250 each tonight. Yep. And then the upper target is usually double that. So the upper yep. target, if we hit that, like, you know, after a couple of hours, we're like, awesome, next target is 400. Yep. Sorry, 500. 500. <laughs> 500. Um, but yeah, so it's good to just sort of like vaguely have something to aim towards and always keep record of, of what you make. It's really important. Um, so we're hoping there will be people when for reference, last Monday I worked in Brisbane, I made almost $700. It was a really good night. That was like a seven, hour, six or seven hour shift. So it was a little bit longer. We just like honestly have no idea what to expect. No expectations. Nothing. Um, we'll just, just go in. There. Yeah. Take you guys along. Yeah, I, I'm really excited. I do know they do shower shows at like 4 or 5 p.m. as well. We'll miss it tonight. But I, I do know they are a thing. I don't know what they are. I, like I'm assuming maybe there's a shower on the stage. Like, I don't know how they do it, but I know that's a thing. But yeah, we're super, super excited. We're going to leave for the club at 6.30. We do have to be there at 7 just for inductions and stuff like that. And then Rosie will get on the floor at 7.30. If I'm allowed to start early, I'll start at 7.30. If not, I will have to wait till 8. Super excited. Aiming for $250 for Monday. So we'll let you guys know how we go. So it's currently midnight, we are going home, we are full of tips, <laughs> so we need to count these out oh, now. Because these are like oh. exactly for the dance. 
Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, just kidding. So yeah, these are like literally so. F oh, oh, good measure. Oh, pop off. Um, yeah, so we're gonna count, like count these now, <laughs> and we'll let you guys know. Come to count our tipping dollars because it's super fun and we have so many of them. So, so we did three stages. No, four. Four, four, four stage, stage sets. sets, and they were every forty-five minutes we were on stage. Yep. It was ruthless. But the tip is really good. Really really this is so purely stage. We tips. were all on at this end, plus some like actual cash. But we were on the same time, yep. like hustling each side of stage, yep. pulling it all together. We were thriving. We're gonna divide it by two, but we're gonna count it with you guys. Should we put it into like groups of ten? Yeah. Sure. And then in actual cash, we got 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 dollars in actual cash for tipping. So, what did we make? Yeah. So the tipping dollars are in two dollar notes. So the piles of ten are twenty dollars, and we've got and then we ten just have six, which is twelve. Ten piles of twenty. So 200. So 212. Plus, this is 90. Tipping dollars. Plus, plus 90. Oh, wait, no, hang on. 212 because we only make 80% of these tipping yes, dollars. Yes, so good are, point. So we do get a cut from the tipping dollars, but there is no door fee. So. Yeah. So what we'll do is we'll show you all this like little pile. We're going to go home. We'll do an actual money count with our cash. We have a separate cash from our lap dance. Yeah, so we've got a couple of hundred dollars more. So yeah, we'll do that and we'll see you guys tonight. Bye. <laughs> We have just had the biggest fucking dilemma trying guys. to figure out how this works. We have so much to tell you guys. Oh my god, okay. It has been a fucking night. No, the, the night's been fine, but the maths that is required for how this club takes their cut and their percentage and how we have to do the transaction of lap yeah. dances is so, so confusing. wild. So these little goodies... Oh, wait, wait no, there's two in here. Yes. So these little coins, they look like an Australian $1 coin, but they are right. Sefton Playhouse focus. dollars. And these are each worth just over sixteen dollars each. So we purchased three of them for fifty dollars. And then if I want to take Poppy for a dance, a ten-minute dance, I have to put in two of them. So yep. she pays me the dance money, which is like say it's a hundred dollars. And then I have to go to the little coin machine, put in the hundred dollars, and it gives me six tokens. Yep. And I only have to give the club two tokens mm -hmm. in this little box that makes the room light up. And it's like this little individual box, which is another whole thing. It's, it's not a cool. communal lap dance room. It's just like a private room. There's no controller. There's just a camera. So it works out to be approximately 68% yeah. of a cut. So yeah. it's like pretty standard, like slightly it's better good. than what we're yeah. used to. But it was so, it was actually such an awesome, wholesome experience. The induction yeah. was so sweet. The manager was literally the yeah. bloody bee's knees. Yeah. We got a whole heap of these for free. Yeah, it was so, so nice. So we did, I think like three dances um, with, with no cut. Commission. So we made all the money because we, we already had these tokens that we didn't have to pay so for. Nice. So nice. This was our first night. Um, another thing is there's tipping dollars, which is not a very common thing in Brisbane. Um, as well, they do take a cut out of that. Yes. Um, you don't have to use them. We can tip regular money um, and that we keep. But the tipping dollars, um, it's roughly, what was it, like 80%? Most of our keep. tips tonight came from the tipping dollars because everyone yeah, like, it's people more were fun really to generous the $2. The and like, I yeah. love seeing all the money because like it's only $2 and we just got like all these stuff. It's really fun. Yeah. Um, it's like gives you like the American vibe, like yeah. all this cash. Yeah, I personally really like the club. I had it's a great beautiful. time. It's beautiful. It's club's huge. beautiful. The girls are nice. The manager's yeah, amazing. Really lovely. The DJ's nice. This is the only thing that confused me. I'm oh. sure we'll understand it by the end of the week. It, um, we were on stage every 45 minutes. Yeah. Which did not pop off. Um, so you only really have like 45 minutes to hustle. Yeah. Like, f like yeah. And, and then, stage takes precedence. So it yeah. can't be like, oh, I can't do stage because I'm in a booking. Like, you have to do stage. Yeah, I get it why like four hour shifts and five hour shifts are like the norm here because it's so a much lot of work. dancing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So to this is the about, first yeah. ever club that we've worked out that dancers aren't allowed to drink. 
Yeah, um, which you're is not really allowed to drink alcohol as a dancer. Um, it's weird to not have the rule. option. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No door fee, which is a blessing. Tipping dollars that they take a cut. Yeah. Take a cut of the dancers with the token system. We have to buy the tokens, which and like at the end of the week, if we have tokens left, we cash them in. They give us yes. our money back. Because I actually. like I paid a hundred dollars for my six tokens. I used four of them, and I have four left, and that'll be used for tomorrow. Yeah, it's yeah. very confusing because she like made a hundred dollars, but then had to buy tokens to, to make more money. So it's, I technically don't have any of the money from that dance on me. Like, this is my commission from yeah. that dance. Like, it's very That's a lot strange. of money, though. That's like 60 It's like almost 70 bucks. Yeah. yeah. No controllers, just cameras, which is very yes. bizarre. Yeah. Yeah, so you can only book a 10-minute dance. There's no longer bookings advertised. There's no yep. private rooms. There's no VIP. There's nothing. Um, you get your 10-minute dance, and then if they want to do it again, it's the same price, and you have to do the whole thing over again. Yeah. Probably go and get more tokens out. Um, it's really just like in and out, in and out, in and out. Like yep. just a 10 minute dance, which is again very different because <coughs> we love to spend four hours in the blue room. Yep. There are three stages, mm. and like on weekend nights, they're all occupied. And yep. even the stage that we were on tonight had four poles four on it. Quite big. Um, and there's just all these seats and tables around them. So which it was like a really good setup. Something that I really appreciate at this club is we do not have to get fully nude on stage if we are. We're not allowed like, to. Oh, sorry. Not yeah. allowed to take We're not allowed off. to yeah. get fully naked, which oh is awesome. Not allowed to take bottoms off. Love that. Yes, and there's like this whole section for gambling and mm. sports on TVs, but it's literally like a separate venue almost. Like you yeah. have to go out all these doors, and it's yeah. just like so. There's no excuse really for people to be like, "No, I'm here, I'm here to watch else. the TV or yep. whatever." Yep. We can have our phones on the floor, which sounds that. really like not a big deal, but it really is such a big deal to us because like we're always looking at the time, and we love just like like there are people not in the club at all, and we just want to like have a little check of our phone. Yep. Obviously, not being on our phone all the time or ever with a patron. It's good to just have it. Management is literally just so lovely. Yeah. Like, Do you see like the welcome pack that I showed you yeah, guys? Are you kidding oh, are me? Are you kidding me? Like just all of like the candy. <laughs> oh, the first thing was like, oh, do you want like a bottle of sparkling water? Like, are you yeah. kidding me? Is this like, yeah, really awesome experience so far. So there was 15 girls on today and the first one started at like noon and then went until four and then some girls started at two, went until six, so they're all staggered. Hmm. And so it's not girls starting at seven or finishing at three where they're yeah. all on at the same time. Like it's really a stagger. So it like gives you a good opportunity for girls to come here, go home, the next lot of girls to come it's here, go on, so yeah. you don't have like a massive cluster of girls. Yeah. Alright, let's do a money count. Working like 7.30ish till 12. Got 100, 200, 300, 350, 370, 380, 390, 400, 410, 425, plus this is like actual commission, so 425 plus, I'm gonna say 16 each. I made $489 on the Monday for about five hours work. So I'm really, really happy with that because it was quite quiet. This is mine, so we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 10, 25 so 425 plus 16 which is 440. 440 roughly 440 honestly we have no idea what we're doing we think this is about oh wait right. i didn't take 16 nope that's not right that's not right i hate yeah we're sorry we hate it so <laughs> confused roughly 490 roughly four what did you say 40 four four because i think i had one extra yeah. dance but she had a couple's dance um, so that was a bit more and then a bit more. We had a really, really good experience. The, oh my God, it. the other literal Is biggest the food? tea. No, oh. better. The fact that, so they open during the day, they do day shift. <gasps> you get paid. You get paid to you be there. You get paid by the club to do day shift. And it's not much. I can't. It's like $50, but you get paid in case you don't make any money. I and I'm, cannot I cannot deal with that. It's like the opposite of door feed. It is I have so good. never heard of this ever. The fact that... It's a club that has day shift. It's already risky. You could so easily work and go home absolutely empty handed. But the fact that they're just like, here's $50 so that you don't go home empty handed. It's it is just like, so good. It is like the oh. thought that counts and it is so lovely. Yeah. It's so thoughtful. And yeah. like, it just makes me appreciate this establishment because they so clearly care about their dancers. Yeah. Ooh, it just warms my heart. It's amazing. That's pretty much it, I guess. Like, loved it. That's our first impression. So now you guys know how everything runs. Um, it'll be a little bit more we succinct. We don't even know how everything runs. This week, yeah, we ha honestly have no idea what's going on. But a little bit more succinct probably this week. Now you guys know what the what the tea is with the club. 490, 440 roughly on a Monday. Very happy with that. She our said goal was two two fifty. So we definitely like surpassed that, obviously. We're going to take our makeup off, go mm -hmm. to bed, have a shower, mm -hmm. get I'm up excited. in the morning. All right, that's pretty much it. Bye, friend. Bye. Uh oh, good morning. Hello, guys. Good morning. It is Tuesday. It is midday. We are on our first ever day, day shift. shift. 
this. We I'm paid excited. to be there, so I don't really care either way. Imagine having a club that like cares about you to this extent that they'll fucking pay you to be there. You would not read about Can't it. Can't relate. You would not Can read not about relate. it. We are probably gonna like buy lunch there because we, there's a bistro there, so we're gonna get some bistro. food. We're gonna like film some stuff on the channel, like make some TikToks. There's like tea and coffee, so when we get there, I'm gonna make myself a little coffee and we'll have that on the yeah, floor. Like maybe we'll work. <sighs> if there's no Exciting. people, I've got nothing to do, so we'll just like have fun. We did have an initial goal for $200 for a day shift. We're reevaluating. No. I don't think it's realistic, but maybe we should just go for it anyway. Yeah. Um, I will not cop putting a face like this on and not even making $200. No yeah. man. No so, man. So, like, if people come in, like, hopefully we can, like, get some dances and stuff. Like, maybe some, like, business people maybe want to come get lunch. I don't know. Hot choice, we make two grand each. Maybe. <laughs> We're gonna go get an Uber because we gotta be there, like, a little bit I earlier. never went to Uber driver. Yeah, so we'll see you guys at the club. Bye. Coffee. Oh, not Rosie making us a coffee and a tea for the <laughs> day a shift. Barista. A barista. I love this place. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>
We have been at the airport for a very long time, about it's like five hours almost. We were in the club lounge and now we're in the business lounge. We have eaten food, I've had a nap, we've watched some below deck. We're just kind of bored and over it and we just like want to get home as of 1am, so just in like less than six hours if we're still here. Some of the flights have been cancelled, so fingers crossed ours isn't cancelled, but if we're still here, we will have to quarantine at our own expense for two weeks. I want to go home so badly. I'll come back another time. I'm not wearing my mask because I'm eating and drinking. <laughs> it's a shame because it was so fun. Yeah, and we were only here for like th like two shifts. Yeah, so that really sucks. Not even the good days. Hate it. Bye. Bye. Update, we don't have to quarantine. Yay, love it for us. There are no, we can't there get an Uber, dra not Uber a, Java. There is not a single Uber. We're gonna have to go get a taxi and they're really expensive, so that's gonna be fun. Um, we had a really bad flight, it was really scary. The first 20 minutes was terrifying and then we were fine. We made it, we're alive. I just wanna go home, I just want a nice warm bar. Oh, it's not focusing. Please focus, yeah. Look, I've yeah, got so, hella um, bags. So you're an Uber driver, get back. Come and pick work. us up, please. Mm -hmm. So overall we liked Sefton a lot even though we only worked two nights. We really liked it We really want to come back and the manager was very understanding which was great we made like 800 bucks in two nights So like whatever it covered a lot of our costs because we did get refunded for accommodation and stuff and But our flights were flights were a little bit expensive. more expensive just to get out Because um, we were the second last flight out of um, Sydney today for Brisbane. We were the last ones. Thank God we left um, And the whole back is getting wet. Yeah, it's raining. It's just like really sums up how this trip went like it's just not good we had a good time at the club but unfortunately we couldn't stay um, get a cab. so we would definitely recommend going from our two days experience but yeah stay tuned for Sydney part two in maybe a, a few months but that's pretty much it are not allowed to work or something? Rosie's pissed. I just, want, all I just them. want my home. <laughs> Alright see you guys, Bye guys in the next vlog. <laughs>